What's the harm in objectifying women? No one gets hurt, right? Let's make something real clear. There's a difference between objectifying someone and seeing someone for their beauty and appreciating that. So I was a junior in college sitting in mass one day and this girl went up to go do the reading. I'd never seen her before, never met her. And I remember seeing her walk up um, to give the reading and my first thought was literally, whoa. That's the most beautiful woman I've ever seen. The next thought that followed was one that was so clear. One simple question, three words. Who is she? Like, who is she? What's her name? What is she studying? What does she like to eat? Does she like coffee? Does she want to get coffee with me? While a lot of people might think, like, that, that's a normal response. You see a beautiful woman, you want to get to know who she is. For me, that was kind of a first time experience. Anytime I saw a woman's beauty, my thoughts were not, who is she? How can I get to know her? It was something more along the lines of, how can I get with her? Or what can I get from her? And I thought this was a completely normal response. For us as men, that's, this is not what we're called to. It hurts our ability to love it hurts our ability to be strong for people, to, to honor and respect um, the women around us. As a saint once said, the only proper response to the human person is one of love. Women, men, human beings, we are not objects. We are not objects that are meant to be used. When we're captivated by beauty, something very good and very right is happening. The women around us are not meant to be a thousand temptations to hell, but their beauty is actually meant to be a thousand invitations to heaven. So what is objectification? It's in plain words, seeing another person as an object. And we know human beings are not objects. Objects are something we use, right? Human beings are not meant to be used. When we objectify another human person, they have no say in that. It, it takes away their agency. They don't know that we might be fantasizing about them or imagining them or just thinking about them for their body parts. No one deserves to be used. And so when it comes to our attractions when it comes to our sexual desires even let's keep that in mind that when we are drawn to another person something very good is happening but we must not stop at the superficial we must not stop where our culture tells us it's okay to stop Let, let's dig a little bit deeper remember that within every person is an infinite universe of just greatness that we can spend lifetimes awing at. Some of you guys might be wondering, what happened to that girl that I saw thought that's the most beautiful woman? Who is she? We're actually engaged. We're gonna be getting married next year, so say a prayer for us. And when I think about how beautiful this is, I remember it started with one simple question. Who is she? Hey guys, thanks so much for watching. Click here to subscribe and here to check out more videos.